Hello everyone. Today we are going to see uh, how to use Wireshark uh, in order to actually capture and analyze the packets. Okay. So what is this Wireshark all about? Uh, this Wireshark is a software which we are using in order to uh, analyze the various packets which are actually uh, you know uh, uh, traversing through the TCP/IP network. So it is a network protocol analyzer and where how it is used it is basically used by network admins in order to actually troubleshoot the problems on the uh, network and it, it is uh, used by the network admins in order to find uh, the per in order to uh, check the performance with respect to the network the bottlenecks if any uh, and uh, if any intrusion is happening the direction of that and all those things right and it can also be used for analyzing the various applications now basically so it is a packet sniffer Okay, it sniffs all the packets and it captures all the packets which is uh, uh, moving across your TCP IP uh, architecture. And uh, this uh, particular Wireshark was actually there, is there from, uh, you know, 1998 onwards it is there. But pre previously it was known by a name called as Ethereal uh, and it is uh, found out by Gerald Combs. Okay, uh, uh, and it is used basically to capture the various packets. So how to uh, download this particular uh, uh, software you have to go to wireshark.org so depending upon your operating system you have to choose uh, the version and you have to download it the downloading and setting up installation is pretty straightforward okay and over here you can see that uh, uh, there are a lot of experiments that we have with respect to this wireshark so the first one is to uh, you know uh, capture and uh, analyze the ethernet uh, uh, frames is what we are going to do so you can see that over here when you are actually uh, when you actually double click on the you know the Wireshark symbol or icon you get uh, something like this you, it will show you all the interfaces what are the interfaces which you are using in order to you know um, uh, transmit the, all the various packets and all so whatever you do with respect to the internet say for example you are opening a um, you are opening google.com or you are opening uh, you, you are running some other application whatever might be uh, it's all you know um, uh, all uh, the, uh, all these are nothing but packets with respect to the network layer and these packets are the one which uh, have to be traversed from the uh, which actually traverses from the source to the destination and by capturing this packet one can have tons of information about uh, the performance of the network and all so this is used by network administrators as well as uh, you know the sharks or the hackers can also use this in order to get um, various vital information with respect to the network so with respect to this, we will uh, just start off the experiment. So the first experiment is to simulate and uh, simulate the capturing of Ethernet frames. So you are having n number of applications which is running in. So what I'm going to do is that you just see this particular icon. This is a start icon that I'm having. I'm just starting the capture of the packets. I just simply click start. You can see that a lot, lot of packets are being captured. Okay. So once the packet capture is over, you can actually, you know, uh, stop capturing of the packets. So you can see a lot, lot of information here you can see. The first information that you can see is the time information, the source, uh, source uh, IP information, the destination, uh, you know, IP information, which protocol it is using. And also it uh, also uh, uh, tells you more about, you know, the particular protocol, more information is also being given. So this is how basically when you run uh, this particular uh, experiment you can see that uh, the uh, the various captures packets which is actually being captured is um, you know, uh, in this way okay? now let me analyze this particular with respect to uh, all uh, what all we have we have let us analyze so the first box you will get to know all the information about the packets which are being moved back and forth across the network and over here you can actually see the uh, you know uh, the TCP IP architecture itself you can see so in the application layer everything is called as a data the user uh, the, the data uh, from the application layer actually moves across your you know uh, the trans uh, transport layer and there we have two protocols if you all know the UDP and the TCP protocol so uh, basically which port they are listening to you know source port destination port and all those information you can actually see then uh, this uh, in transport layer we call it as segments 
and these segments when uh, will be actually moving to the network layer and there you can see the protocol which actually comes into play whether it is ipv4 v6 the header length what is the quality of service that we are expecting what are the flags which are being set okay all those information you can actually see here and uh, the next one is the ethernet okay so the uh, kind of you know the important information we will be getting with respect to the ethernet uh, in uh, packets also will be getting the information the data link there basically about the frames about the device id interface id all those things you can actually see here right so over here uh, you can actually do one more thing you can actually click on this any one of this protocol so we all know what is this protocol arp all about arp stands for address resolution protocol and it is basically uh, it is used to actually find you know the uh, physical address of a particular machine in a lab so the ip might be 192.168.3.39 but which physical machine will actually respond or which correspond to this thing is being found by the arp protocol so you can see over here it is a request address resolution protocol request which is happening and you you can also see the various you know various details like you know the device id all those information you can actually see here right now uh, there are other protocols also which comes into play you just see tcp packets are being captured so in tcp packet you will get to know in detail with respect to uh, the uh, the various information you can actually see the protocol version right and uh, over here you can actually see the flag information you can see so many things we can actually see with respect to by analyzing this particular protocol over see here the sequence number of the packet we can see the next sequence number what is the uh, relative acknowledgement number which has been acknowledged the header length uh, and uh, the various flags so we all know that tcp is a you know the uh, flow control protocol so how it makes uh, sure that it synchronizes with the receiver is by advertising the window so all those information you can actually see here with the necessary timestamp information and all so basically this was an attempt to capture the packets and to analyze the various kind of packets that you are having right so over here you can see over in in a in in a span of few seconds the various protocol or the various packets which are being captured you can actually see the tcp tls uh, transport layer security protocol right all those how the application data is actually being segmented and passed on to the you know transport layer and in transport layer we have udp and tcp packet tcp protocols we are having and how they are handling the packet and move uh, and the packet will be moved to the data link layer, ne network layer network layer from there to the trans uh, to the data link layer and how the actually the packet has been delivered to the uh, corresponding machine physical machine using the arp protocol so all those you can actually see over here and the main intention of this particular experiment was to uh, under uh, to make you understand with respect to the tcp ip architecture and also how the packets are being captured and how uh, you know uh, uh, how how uh, the various fields come into play and all those things it was what basically uh, the intention of this experiment was all about thank you